everyone. Today I'm doing a series of seven different soaps and I'm showing the essential oil blends to try to be an aid to you as a soaper so that you can try it for yourself and know how much to put in and also um, you can then play with that blend and make it your own if you like. Um, um, I'm going to be doing a lotion bar with 15% super fat with yin yang and peppermint in it um, and with uh, pieces of my soap scraps from previous soaps uh, put in for color. Um, I'm going to be doing a pine and tea tree. Great for the, old, the good old boy and for the hunter. Uh, country boy will survive. Um, this one here is lavender, palmarosa, rosemary, and peppermint with oats, honey, and bee pollen. And this one is cedarwood and tea tree. It is my most sell, my biggest seller. Um, this one is lemongrass, rosemary, turmeric, and tea tree. A great facial bar, acne bar. And this one is the same except for it has tangerine in it, so that makes it great for oily skin. Then we played with making a um, soap mold out of a cardboard box and we made this in pot swirl. It's pretty decent. I think I like it. And um, we made this and we were testing some new essential oils of Essential Depot. Oh, it smells very herbally, very earthy. <clears throat> um, we're putting bay essential oil, basil essential oil, thyme essential oil, rosemary essential oil with a touch of peppermint. And I think it would have so loved a little bit of clary sage, but I didn't have any. So um, that is a, a new fun play toy uh, for me. Mm, I love it. And um, I wasn't sure if I was going to love it or not. Um, and uh, so that one there is, um, that's the soaps that we're fixing to do. Now, uh, I'm going to put this clip at the beginning of each one of these videos. So, when you click on this video, you're going to still see this clip. When you click on this video, you're still going to see this clip. Because I'm going to put it at the beginning of each one of them because it's a soap it's an essential oil soap blend series and as I said this is meant to help soapers with ideas about what goes good together what's popular what smells good what works well together uh, it's just to be a help tool you're welcome to put these essential oil blends together and sell them in your soaps and if you feel better about it change them up a little bit and make them your own so let's get soaping everybody Okay, this is my acne soap and our facial bar, uh, facial bar and shampoo bar. And um, in this one, we have lemongrass, tea tree, rosemary, turmeric, uh, four tablespoons turmeric, two tablespoons rosemary, two tablespoons, no, four tablespoons tea tree, four tablespoons lemongrass. Now that's a double bite, so you'll need to half that. And then four tablespoons turmeric uh, spice ground powder. And so, and I'm trying cocoa butter today in my super fats. So, I normally use a lot of olive oil and I mix my spice up ahead of time, but my cocoa butter got hard before I can mix it up. So I'm going to see that I think it'll do fine uh, this way because it cooks for 30 minutes. So I have got one. Now this is a double batch. So you would half this. I got one ounce cocoa butter. No, coconut oil. Excuse me. One ounce organic coconut oil. Two ounces shea butter. Unrefined organic from Essential Depot. 1.5 organic unrefined cocoa butter. And 0.5 of olive oil. And I know that's going to be a pain to try to divide. So if you do 0 0.3, I th that won't be a problem. Whoop! I'm going to give you a headache. And this comes up with a real pretty yellow. It looks orange right now. But it's a real pretty yellow. There went my lid. 
but it's a real pretty yellow when it um, finishes. And because I've got the cocoa butter in there, I have to be sure to come back and stir it again in case there's a cocoa butter lump in there. It's mixed with my um, it's mixed with my other oils so it didn't get as hard as it would normally but you do have to pre-melt the cocoa butter um, before you put it in the soap okay now we are we've let our soap cook for the last 30 minutes and now uh, we are going to let it cool for our essential oils we need to get it down to 160 and you'll need to stir it several times during the cooling process more so if you leave the lid off if you leave the lid off you'll need to stir it even more and um, but turn the crock pot off after it cooks that last 30 minutes and let it cool okay this is our acne and um, uh, shampoo and facial it's great for all over but it's particularly good for acne a facial bar and um, shampoo in your hair it promotes strong hair shafts and healthy hair shafts so had a little bit of crusties on the top got that blended and I'll put my essential oils in. And that one was lemongrass, four tablespoons, tea tree, four tablespoons, rosemary, two tablespoons, turmeric root, four tablespoons. And that is for a double batch, so you'd have that. Oh God, and it smells so good. This is one of my favorites. I use it every day. I have bleach on the ends of my hair. <clears throat> and then I have color on the rest. And my hair is so healthy and I don't have to use conditioner. But it took a little time to get me that way of using this soap. It's not like an instant, you know, I'm going to do the same thing. Put some all the way across. The mold. And we let this get to 160 degrees. Okay, and this is not going to fill the mold. It's just slightly too less of soap. It happens from time to time. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. I've got this little board cut. And 
I'm going to push this soap back some, insert my board, and push forward. I'm going to do some X's, you know, just do something a little different, same thing all the time. There we go, and now this soap is ready, and sometimes I have to poke a paper towel in there to get it to sit up right, but not today. Uh, today it just did perfect, and I'm not going to have to do anything to it. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So now I'll put that under some plastic and we'll cut it tomorrow. Hello everyone. This is our lemongrass, rosemary, turmeric, and tea tree soap. And lemongrass is a natural skin toner. Tea tree is very healing, anti-inflammatory, I mean anti, oh, antibacterial, antiseptic, anti-everything. Um, and then our turmeric is a great inflammation bringer downer, and so that's great for acne and uh, or irritations of the skin. And then rosemary uh, is very beneficial to the skin, but it also promotes healthy hair and healthy hair shafts and roots. And of course, so does tea tree as well. So this soap is great for taking a bath with all over, but it's also wonderful for acne. A facial bar even if you don't have acne and washing your hair with my hair has never been so shiny and healthy after, until I started using this soap and when I added the rosemary and the turmeric to it my health the health of my hair went up 50% so this is a great uh, bar for the hair <clears throat> and it's super fatted with the shea butter and the cocoa butter and the olive oil and the coconut oils so and the glycerin and the vitamin E so that makes this soap uh, very conditioning uh, all my soaps are that way um, and so it, I don't have to use conditioner and my hair is thin and um, it damages easy so or all my life it has and so I don't even have to use conditioner and that didn't happen right off the bat um, I had to you know work the tangles out at first but uh, with regular trimming of my dead ends and using this soap for a while poof I don't even need conditioner anymore so <clears throat> that is a I think a wonderful attribute to this soap so let's give it a cut oh it's so pretty and now we use just turmeric in this one. <clears throat> and I recently had a woman who bought some turmeric that they had added extra yellow dye possibly to it. Um, she never did get back to me and let me know for sure. But from what she was talking about, that's what I expected. So <clears throat> if you're buying your turmeric, look at the ingredients. Make sure they've not added extra yellow dye or color it to it. Um, especially if you're going all natural. Um, and so, and now, um, as I said, we're going to compare this soap with our tangerine. And you can see there is just a slight difference in color because I put the paprika and the turmeric in this one and just the turmeric in this one. And so, you can see the difference in the colors. And, um, and that helps me distinguish the bar as well. But it gives that one more of a lemon appearance and this one of course an orange tangerine appearance and you'll all that video is also on uh youtube at the moment and um, um unless you've already seen it you can watch that one too i'm posting seven videos with different essential oil blends um and testing them out and uh isn't this so pretty? I love a rustic natural look. Now, I did this one as well. This is an in the pot swirl. And so you can also, uh, this video has just been posted and I used a cardboard box. All right. And so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video 
and you just got to give this a try especially if you have easily fine thin damaged hair or if you're starting to lose your hair um, rosemary is awesome for promoting healthy growing hair and 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 promoting promoting the roots to be healthy and continue growing healthy hair um, and so that is an awesome attribute of rosemary all right and plus it's a spirit lifter oh, oh and this smells it smells like lemony sunshine with a touch of the rosemary and then it has a little tiny undertone of the tea tree but mainly it just smells like lemony sunshine <laughs> so all right i hope you've enjoyed this video um please hit the like button please subscribe uh please leave me your comments and if you click on my face which is on one side or the other of this video uh up top <laughs> um, it'll take you to my main channel page and you'll see my website uh, link on the right there's some links and one of them is my web page another one is the essential depot link and that's my affiliate link um, and if you would like to purchase some soap making materials or essential oils from essential depot then uh, you can use that link and that helps me out I get a few pennies for everything you purchase and all those little pennies add up and it keeps me soaping and it keeps me YouTubing. And also thank you for watching my commercials. That helps me out. Keeps me YouTubing. Um, and, um, and then also there is my Facebook product page and my Facebook um, chat page. And there you can ask me questions about soaping or other similar items or things. And then also you can brag, show off your own YouTube videos if it's, you know, something of this type of uh, genre. And also post your, your soap on there. And so I call it brag and share as well. And, um, and everything. And then there's two other um, wonderful little soaping pages on there. Um, Soapers Choice and Soapers Anonymous. Or Super Soap and Soapers Anonymous. So, um, so just click on my face. And um, I sure do appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much. And um, please have a wonderful soaping day. Okay, everybody. I wanted to do just a little bit of a lather test. And this is uh, a little piece of the... Well, if it don't get away from me. This is a little piece of the lotion bar. And you can see how creamy it is. And then, if you add a little water to it, look at the bubbles. Mmm, isn't that awesome? Mmm. And it feels so good on the skin. It, that 15% super fat is awesome. Oh, and the yin yang really comes out nicely. All right, and my skin feels clean, but it feels very soft and moisturized. I think you'll love this recipe. You'll find the, some recipes in the description of this video.